What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So we're back again with another tier list. I just want to get you guys super prepped for the upcoming season. We got six days left, and we got some more tier lists and builds that are just going to kind of help you guys get a jump store on season four. So today, we're going to be going over Necromancer and the top five builds that are just going to be some of the best builds in the game for Necromancer, although I'm pretty sure I know what every build necromains are going to be playing this season but without further ado these lists are again guys are just going to be best guesses they're just going to be a, a culmination of all of the data that we've kind of collected as a community my chat my discord other creators and stuff and then we're just taking a best guess uh and this is going to be sprinkled on with a little bit of my thoughts right like my my kind of like opinion about it unbiased right because i like necro but Let's get right into it. I hope you guys all know, this goes without saying, that Necro Minions, this is just the, there's not an actual icon for it, so I'm using the Undying, or what is it, uh, the Grave, whichever skill this is, nobody even uses this skill, but Necro Minions is going to be the best build, not only in the game, but the best build for Necros in Season 4, okay? You got all of our minions, They're they've been buffed through the roof and then some, okay? Uh, they're super, super strong. Golem is hitting for 440 gabillion, gajillion damage. Uh, it's already been shown, uh, you know, amongst many, many creators that this is probably going to be the best build. Shout out to Woody for being, you know, a little salty about how strong Necros are this season and the rogues are just really suffering. It sucks, I know, but minions are just going to be the best build in the game. The only negatives, but with the minion, are two things, and these are just my thoughts. One, you're incredibly slow. You know, your clear speed, although the minions are going to be doing a lot of damage, this and that, you're going to be able to one-shot uber bosses at level 200. You're going to be able to do all these things, right? You just move incredibly slow. Your Necro is really just a support character, and you just move slow. Even if you invest in movement speed, you're just your clear speed is just not going to be as fast as, like, other builds the necro would have or just other classes in general just because you move much slower now the second thing is that i know a lot of people are just really on the necro bandwagon this season but we still don't know how good the minion ai is and minion ai has been terrible since the game came out you know and it really suffers because we do not have a command you know skeleton or command army key where we can just go hey press this go fight this monster etc on bosses or dungeon bosses or an elite or something like that it's all by themselves it's easy right but when you're going through dungeons or you're playing in a hell tide or anything like that you know the minions are going to be all over the place and i know that they're doing more damage now and some could argue and say hey they're going to be killing so fast they're going to be able to move from monster to monster but we just don't really know how good it actually is because just seeing it fight one single boss is one thing, but to use the build in its entirety and go through a dungeon is something completely different. So I'm really curious to see how good the AI has changed with season four. But with that said, let's go on to the next best uh, build in the game for uh, Necros, and that's going to be the Shadow Dot build, okay? The Shadow Dot build, there's a few different variants that you can do it. Blight is probably going to be the best because it's just overall more Shadow damage. But Shadow Dot damage is hitting for 20, 30, 40 million a pop, which is super cool. You're going to be able to have a brand new Shadow build. It, it's really awesome because we haven't really had one. The closest one was Infamous, which was nerfed. In Season 2, we had um, Sever, or no, excuse me, Season 1, we had Sever, which was my favorite build. Again, Shadow, and we just really haven't had anything since they nerfed Infamous. So now that they've given us a big buff to our Shadow Dot, like this build is actually incredibly strong. You're really not using a lot of minions, but you can with other build variants like Sever itself. So I think Shadow Dot is going to be played. If I was playing Necro besides minions, I would probably play Shadow Dot because it just seems like it'd be more fun. Next in the third slot, of course, we have Bone Spear. Okay, Bone Spear is just still a staple among Necromancers. I don't ever see this going away. The build didn't really suffer a whole lot in this update. So Bone Spear is still going to be at the top of the list for Necro builds. It's going to be a good leveling build. It's just super strong. With all the tempering manuals being able to fire more Bone Spears, I just think the build is just going to be overlooked this season with all the buffs to these two types of builds. But Bone Spear is still going to be super, super strong. Like if you want just something satisfying with Littlest Wall and you just want to just speed through content, this is definitely going to be a build for you. 
Uh, next, and I know there's going to be a little controversy with this one, uh, is Blood Nova or Blood Wave, whatever you want to call it. Um, I call it Blood Wave because this is what we had in Season 3. But, but I know that the, this build right off the bat is you guys are going to say, hey, Overpower was nerfed because Vanish Lord suffered such a big hit by half, actually, which really sucks. But I still think this build is just going to be solid. Like, I, maybe Blood Lance will come in and kind of take its slot. I'm not really sure. But I think Blood Surge overall is just better. The AoE is better. The clear speed is much better. Um, along with some of the, uh, what is it, the Blood Boil um skill that we got from season two over here that makes it really really good so even though banished lords got hurt i still think this build will just be solid it'll, it'll just be like a lower tier build but i think for those who really like the blood magic of the necromancer like this build is probably still going to be pretty solid for you um with that in mind i mean you just got to play with it maybe there's something undiscovered you know again these are all just best guesses guys and then i don't really have a fifth build for you guys um however with that said we have corpse explosion which is probably just going to be the best leveling build or one of them for necromancer when you're getting through the game blood surge is also very good sever is solid uh bone spear is good if you can you know manage your resource but corpse explosion is pretty solid for leveling build um i don't know how well it would do maybe here in the end game you could probably use this until you go all the way up but this build is is still very very strong it's been a necro staple throughout diablo from two to three and even into four as a great leveling build just to get through the game and get to your end game gear uh but yeah those are the it's really these top four and then just one leveling build i don't really have an extra build to kind of throw in here there's a lot of options like there's bone spirit there's sever there's blood lance um there's just a few other builds that are just sever server sever whatever it's called uh but yeah these are going to be the top builds we're going to have a couple different variants again of necro minions bone spear of course and a few different variants of the shadow dot builds and then of course blood surge man so these are going to be my top five builds for you guys for necromancer going into season four although i really do think that the majority of players are going to be playing minions and then there's going to be some that are playing shadow if i was playing necro i'd probably play shadow Although testing out minions would be really cool just to see how strong they are now. But these are the top five builds, guys. Um, make sure to like the video. Let's get this thing to over 50 likes. Let's try to shoot for 100 if we can, which will be awesome. I know that everybody's on the Necro bandwagon this season. Uh, so that's really cool, actually, just to see a new regime and not barbarians on top. So that's great. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this list. And if there's any other builds that I'm maybe missing, right? Maybe there's a build that I'm missing, I'm overlooking. Uh, maybe there's something that I just haven't discovered yet. Please let me know down in the comments below. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.